Hey everyone, it's Camus Craze Creations Brandy, and I wanted to come on and share my decorations. I've been busy working since Thanksgiving on them. This is my table. Um, these placemats I picked up last year on clearance for 90%, and they're glittery. I have a tree set up over here. I'm going to try to go slow. This is Santa. He's working. As you can see, he's moving. Almost everything that I'm about to show you I've picked up at the pound over the last two years. Majority of it. The boy and girl right here. They're vintage. They're from the 80s. Um, they're made to look old, but they actually are pretty old. I get these snowmen here. They're on stairs. I don't know if you can see them. And then this tree I picked up last year. It's a Virginia pine. And I picked it up for one dollar in a box with just everything Christmas and it was brand new in a box never used I'm gonna go closer as you can see I have homemade ornaments on here from some of the ladies on YouTube for my challenge but it's pretty bare so what I wanted to ask is if anybody wanted to do a personal swap of either ornaments for this tree or a pocket letter a wand or a Christmas card if so I'm gonna put my email down below if I email you back and say you're on Santa's list then that means you already got a package going to you I don't want the package any more than nine ounces that way it's only three dollars to ship because um, I don't know how many people want to sign up for it I'm gonna put the camera on pause so I can show you the rest of my decorations this is my kitchen area Now this is my living room area. I got the angel that you see right here. She's animated. I got her last year brand new in a box. These presents right here are indoor, outdoor, and they twinkle. My dog loves to lay on that um, tree skirt. Trying not to go too fast, guys. Almost all the ornaments come from Dollar General on this tree. Then I got Mr. and Mrs. Claus right there. They too came from the pound. All these items, a lot of them were brand new in boxes, never used. Like people bought them after season and just never got to. I'm gonna go closer now, guys. I don't know if you can tell, but these are all the pocket letters and items that I got um, during my last challenge. So I kind of decorated this. I haven't set up my village yet. A lot of people say that um, my elves are, are scary. There's one. I'm trying not to go too fast, guys. And here's the other one. Those two from the pound. And these are all the creations that were made for me. I made this wall especially for YouTube. It looks really good in here. I've gotten a lot of compliments from visitors and guests. And if you go up, I did the lights and the garland. And that's my home, guys. So far, anyway. I still got to do my, um, my village. Uh, Thanksgiving Day, I spent doing this cabinet. It's all my craft, and I labeled and organized all my little items. Um, I'll go closer to the tree. I'm going to be doing a challenge for my son. Um, and all that you're going to have to make is a Christmas card or you, it can be a store-bought. It doesn't matter. And this is, this is my son right here. His name is Corey. He's 15. He's, um, non-verbal autistic. He loves art. He loves mail. And, um... I thought I could do a challenge and ask for, because that's what I did last year, but I did it on um, another site that I'm involved. They did a card train, and he loved it. We put them all on his wall. Um, your grandchildren or your children can make, you know, they can draw a picture. He'd love it. And so that'll be my next video, guys, is my challenge. And again, um, he's in placement. He's up north um, for behavioral he has very um, bad aggression 
to where everything in my house was broken before he left two years of this so I ask that you know you just send him a card because I'm, I really can't bring things up there stickers are fine but anything more than that guys it's, you don't have to send alright till my next video thank you everyone